This is a Moodle website. It's called Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. My name is Dr. Nellie Deutsch and I've been Moodling or using Moodle with my students both face-to-face -face in the format of blended learning and blended online learning which means that I use both a WizIQ platform for the live synchronous sessions and Moodle for the asynchronous and this is for fully online courses. What's great about Moodle is that it allows me to do a lot of things such as engaging my students in the content with each other in the various discussion forums and with the content and of course uh, with myself with uh, a chance to ask me questions and learn from all of us in other words from the teachers from the students from their peers and from the content that is provided of course Moodle is not exclusive you can also go beyond Moodle and we're going to take a look at what Moodle looks like particularly a course because this is just the front page of a Moodle and uh, it looks like any other website except that it's got three parts it has a left section which is called a block the right section which is also called a block and the center now the right and left can be interchanged in other words you whatever you have on the left can be put on the right so let's take a look at a course I'm going to scroll down to um, the front page okay this is what I've added you can add anything you wish right now I'm not logged in okay but here are the courses that I've added the different ways of organizing Moodle you're actually free to do so uh, as far as the front page goes now let's take a look at this Moodle course okay I'm just clicking on it all right now as soon as I click on a course of course uh, do not provide guest entrance to this particular course but you can do that you can also log in with another Moodle going through another and joining your Moodles together and other websites together these are different options in fact Moodle has so many different features that sometimes teachers get confused because of the options so let's take a look I'm going to log in if you go into a new Moodle you'll have to first of all create an account and then you get prompted you need to confirm your account in your email so you have to make sure that the email is correct so let me just go in log in so I can go into that particular course for those interested there's also a list of courses that is provided right here again this part you can also uh, add as you wish with your administrator there are also various themes for the front page and for the Moodle that you're welcome to choose from all right so this is the course you can see uh, there's the left center and right again it's exactly the same as before okay these are called as I said blocks left block right block okay that can be interchanged and of course there is the center so let's go there now okay here we go and then it's divided into topics you can give the topics names or you can leave it as topic or you can call them weeks so that's the organization of the Moodle what's nice about the Moodle beyond the fact that you can make it very elaborate you can add your uh, comments okay, chat on the left here there's a lot of things that you can add or you can make it very very simple and not add a lot of whistles and bells but of course it's up to you there's a calendar now all these things on the left and right appear in what's called a block what I'm going to do I'm going to take you to a raw Moodle where you don't see all of this okay because it's complicated uh, to look at unless you are used to it okay but these are some of the activities that you can have and I'm going to take you to another area okay this is a chance for you to actually see a raw Moodle it's called Moodle for teachers 
Okay, it's another one of my websites. Okay, there's nothing here. Okay, the course, the Moodle has not been set up. Okay, so you don't even have a chance to actually create an account because I haven't allowed it. I'm going to go as admin just to show you a little bit about what it looks like. Okay, so this is a raw Moodle. It's raw because things haven't been added to it. It's not difficult to add things. You need to have admin rights and then it's quite simple. The learning curve is not that difficult and you'll be able to manage it. All right, so in this case, it looks like my um, Okay, um, Okay, here I am, I'm in. Okay, now this is just a test I added with IQ, so I can test it out and see if it's uh, working. It must be working because I see the test. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, notice there's a calendar that's on the right, and there's the left navigation. I'm going to take you to the administration. You may not have a chance to see this, so this is your chance. Okay, the administration covers users, the courses you want to add, grades, how you want to set them up, your location, the languages you want. There are different languages. Moodle comes in every language possible. Plugins, security appearance, the themes that you want it to have, the front page, how you want it to look and behave. And then things that you might not want to get into because they're a bit complicated. So let's start with courses. How easy it is to create a course? Very simple. You go into edit and you create your course. Okay, you just add a new course. Very simple. And it's a lot of fun because it gives you a chance to feel ownership with your website and with your Moodle if you have your own Moodle. And I highly recommend get a Moodle. Okay, it's not expensive. Moodles are easy to install, and if you need help, I'll be available to help. All right, so once you create a course, um, and we're going to do that right now. Okay, let's create a course. Okay, you uh, right now I don't have categories, but I can fix the categories. I add the name, course name, course summary, whether I want it in weekly or social format or topics. And then the date, how many news items I want. Notice everything is with an enriched editor. Okay, here's a rich editor. You can add images, audio. All, okay, all the editors are rich. And then I can decide if I want to show the grade book. It's all very organized, really organized. So if you're interested in the course management system, that's how you can create a course, then Moodle is your answer. In addition, of course, once you have a course, and I'm going to go into this category, okay, so I can add a new course. I'll just give it a name. I just want to show you the different things in the course. I'll call this course testing for you, all right, just to make it different from another testing. Okay, and you have to give it a course. See, these are obligatories, the two reds, and then I'll call it T for you. Sorry, T for you. Testing for you, and then I'll, I don't have to give a description at this time. Okay, the date, let's start from yesterday. Actually, from today, it always goes the day before. Allow guests, yes, why not? Let them come in, even though they can't, because it's available to students. Notice I can make it not available and decide to make it available when I'm ready. I can force the language, English or any other language, then I can decide role naming. Now, if I don't understand anything, I just go into the question marks. Notice when I hover my mouse over, it says help with role rename. If I click on it, it'll give me a full detailed explanation. Okay, so there's, I can also show advanced, advanced give me more, a lot more information. Let's save that, see if it's okay, get the course, and I want to show you how easy it is to create activities. Now, I want to enroll people, but I need to know what kind of method I want. Do I want a method that allows me to make money? I can make it manual or I decide. 
I can make a guess or I can choose self-enrollment or PayPal. I'm going to add PayPal in here so that I can also make money. And the way to do that is to write PayPal right here in the uh, search box. I don't have to remember anything. That's what's nice about Moodle. I just add what I want and search for it. Okay, so I'm going off the side here just so I can add PayPal. Now, where is PayPal? Cohort means a whole group of people. There's PayPal, All right? I want to see right now it's uh, got a line over it, which means that it's not enabled. Let's make it enable. Okay, there it is. You see it's up here now. I can uh, go to the settings, add my email so that the money comes to me. So I can add my PayPal business email, notify students when they pay, they'll know, oh, you paid for the course, notify T, hey, someone paid for the course and the administrator. All right, now allow payment, PayPal enrollments. Yes, definitely, I want that in my course. And in dollars, you can have other currencies, not just dollars. All right, so that's, let me click on the save and let's go back quickly to our course. All right, notice we're here on PayPal, Enrollments, Plugins, Site Administration, and we want to go to our course. All right, now the only trouble is we need to, here's the course. All right, so let's uh, go back to our course. Okay, there's the course, Testing for You. We'll click on that. All right, and here's the course. This is what it looks like on this particular Moodle with this theme. There are different themes. This is one of my favorites, but you can change the themes as you wish. All right, so now I want to change because I want people to pay for this course. So I'm going to go into Users. Very easy, very easy. Users, click on that. Okay, remember? And look what happens. I click on Users and I get this information. Look, it opens up. Enroll users or enrollment methods and then other things. But we're interested in the methods right now because I want to make sure that I have a PayPal because no one's going to take this course for free. So I open up the choose. Notice I had self-enrollment, manual enrollments. Now I want to open it up and I will have PayPal. And let's see, here it is. There's my PayPal. Let's click on that and I want to be paid. Now the question is how much? You decide and you can always change it. What's good about any kind of online course management system like this is that you can always change your mind. All right, so uh, I'm waiting for things to happen here. Okay, so uh, again, we're going to refresh the page because for some reason it got stuck. So don't worry about it. There it is, there's my PayPal. Let's click on it again. You know, sometimes our computers need a little bit of uh, moving, shaking, you know, to get them to move. So let's see, what do I call this? You don't have to give it a name, but I'm gonna call it paid. I don't know, paid, just a name. And then allow PayPal, yes, enroll Cost zero? No way. I'm going to charge a hundred dollars. Well, it depends on your course. You can be charging a lot more. And who's going to, what role is it going to be? Teacher or student or can't, can decide what role I want to give my uh, payee ads method. And there it is. I can bring this up. Notice the arrow means that it's going to go up. So one, two, Three, I'm going to put it at the top. No self-enrollment because if you have a paid course, you don't have self-enrollment. That's how they enroll. They have to pay first. All right, so uh, let's go back to adding participants. Okay, so uh, we want to go back to, we've got the enrollment methods. Let's go back to the course. Notice I'm going from right to left over there. Okay. And notice that it's turned on. Editing is turned on, which means that I'm able to do a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to add a user. Who am I going to add? There aren't that many users in this raw Moodle because I haven't really worked on it. But let me see who's here. Enroll users. Let's see who's here. Well, it looks like 
there is support and there's me so let me add myself there we go and then finish enrolling there I enrolled okay I enroll myself I don't intend to pay right all right and then I can continue enrolling and then I can enroll the methods notice in case I've forgotten oh there's self-enrollment I don't want that do I all right next I'm going to add some content so I'm going back Notice T-A-U. Okay, here are the dates. Maybe I don't want dates. I can take off the dates and make sure that it's only topics. What do I do? Let's take a look at this. You can see it, the different things, activities and resources on the Moodle. Okay, so we click on that and then we have a list of activities, assignment, certificate. If you don't know much about this, you hover your mouse over it and you'll get the explanation it'll say assignment and if you don't know you click on it and it tells you what it is okay you need more help you click on more help that's what I'm saying you don't have to remember anything just don't be afraid and try things out you can always delete okay so these are different assignments there's WizIQ I want to do the WizIQ remember I said that I wanted to WizIQ tells me what it is okay and then what I do is I am going to click on add but let me show you the add okay so you can see it all right gonna have to do a little bit of juggling here there's the ad okay there we go I'm gonna click on add and there's my activity with IQ one of my favorite live online now notice here Okay, this is, I'm going to schedule class, I can manage classes and manage content. I can also add content to my live webinar. A lot of people call it webinar, I call it live online class because I view it as a class. I'm going to call this test, test for you. Again, same thing, I'll give it the same name. Select time zone, oh, what is my time zone? Let's see, United States, Toronto, let's see, we've got Toronto here. There we go, there's Toronto. Okay, the date's now scheduled for right now. Okay, 30 minutes. Very, very simple, just reading, a lot of reading. Record this class, yes. If you don't know something, there's the question mark. You hover your mouse over, you get help with recording option. If you wanna know more, it gives you more explanations. Moodle is just so easy. Just don't be afraid save and display I think we're ready let's click on it. nothing can go wrong you cannot break the system trust me I've been moodling for third for 10 years sorry 10 years and I have not broken anything that is online okay so there it is okay so here I can launch the class I can edit the class if I want to make some changes and delete it this time I'm going to launch the class now you may think well why launch these are not teaching words they're tech words because tech people are developing environments for teachers so that's why the words may not sound right this is a virtual classroom uh, let me just um there we go there's the top okay it's getting ready and you'll see me let me just wave here there's my here we are I'm going to hide this part there you see me it froze but that's me and here's my virtual classroom I invite students I can teach them live and that's what it's all about Moodle there I am hello okay so uh, this is Nellie I can do a lot of things in the virtual class you're gonna learn about all this and you're gonna have so much fun because these are great technologies for teachers so I'm going to end the class okay I can delete everything just remember you can delete everything okay the class is over and let me just go back okay I'm going to go back from the virtual class to the course here we are and thank you for joining me and I'm looking forward to the Moodle MOOC starting very soon. Have fun. Happy Moodling everyone. Bye for now.